Robin Hood. I am Aishwarya. Today we are going to show you one of the Atnok STEM challenge in marine engineering, the predicting buoyancy. When an object enters water, it pushes out enough amount of water as equal to the volume of the object. This is called water displacement. There are two forces acting to the object when it enters the water. One is downward force, gravity. Upward force, buoyancy. When an object displaces amount of water equal to the weight of the object, the buoyant force will be equal to the gravity force in which the object will float. When the object is heavier than the water displaced, the buoyant force will be less than the gravity. So, the object will sink. Now, let us predict the buoyancy by calculating density. Density means mass divided by volume. Density of water is always 1 gram per centimeter cube. If an object is more denser than the water, it will sink. If an object is less denser than the water, it will float. Now let's calculate the density. I am going to use 5 objects. A box. It is in a cuboid shape. A Rubik's cube. Metal can, which is a cylinder. A glass gob. Sphere. A ball. Also sphere. Here we have written the mass of each object. Then the volume of each object. The volume of the box, also the cuboid, is L into B into H. L means length. B means breadth, also called width. H means height. Here, length is 8, breadth is 5, height is 2. Calculated together equals 80. Now we need to find the density of this object. The calculation for finding the density is mass divided by volume. The mass volume. 10 divided by 80 equals 0 0.125 which is lesser than 1. The density of water is always 1. If it is lesser than 1, it floats. So now let us check our prediction is true or not. Let's check. Box. Yes, it is floating. So our prediction was true. A Rubik's cube, the mass is 15 gram. Volume is A cube. The, this is equals 5 cube. Equals 125 centimeter cube. The density will be 0 0.12 by dividing. And as the density of water is 1, it will float because it is less than 1. Let's check if it's correct. Yes, it's correct. It's floating. Next is cylindrical can. With the equation for it is pi r square h which equals 126. Then for finding the density it equals 1.19 which is more than the density of water 1. So it will sink in water. Now let us check if it is true or not. Can. Yes, it's sinking. Next is a glass globe which is in a spherical shape which has 250 gram. It is 4 by 3 pi r cube equals 52.33. The density of this object is 4.78 which is more than the density of water. So it will sink. Let's check if it's correct. Yes, we are correct. It's sinking. The last object is the ball which is also spherical in shape and is 20 grams. The equation is 4 by 3 pi r 3 which is 102.57. The density of this object is 0 0.19 which is less than the density of water. So it will float in water.
Let's check if it's correct. Yes, it is floating in the water. So this is our predicting buoyancy. The metal ships in oceans float without sinking with the help of water displacement and the buoyant force which is pushing it upwards so it can float or sail without sinking. Bye! Thank you!